you guys this weekend, but before we do, we want to test your brains yeah. and see what you guys already know about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday! So here we go. We got some trivia questions for you. Are you ready? Here comes Let's your first go. question. <laughs> yeah. How did Jesus travel into Jerusalem for his triumphal entry? Did he A, ride a white horse, B, ride a donkey, or C, walk on foot? A, a B, B, or C, C pick, pick one. one. All right, if you guys chose B, he rode a donkey, you are correct. All right, here we go, guys. Next question. Jesus and his disciples were going to Jerusalem to celebrate what? Was it A, Palm Sunday, B, the Passover, C, Easter? A, a B, B, or C, C pick, pick one. one. All right, if you guys chose B, the Passover, you are correct. All right, get ready. Here's your next question. What were the people shouting? Was it A, Hosanna, B, Holy Moly, or C, Maranatha? A, a B, B, or C, C pick, pick one. one. If you guys chose A, Hosanna, you are correct. All right, here we go. Next question. What does Hosanna mean? Is it A, bless me, Achoo. B, hallelujah, or C, save us? A, a B, B, or C, C pick, pick one. one. If you guys chose C, save us, you are correct. All right, we're not done yet. We got another question. Why did the crowds of people lay down their coats and palm branches when Jesus walked through? Was it A, to honor a king, B, the road was muddy, or C, the donkey was hungry? A, a B, B, or C, C pick, pick one. one. If you guys chose A, to honor a king, you are correct. All right, guys, we got one more question for you. Here it is. In this story, what did Jesus say would cry out if the people stopped praising him? Was it A, the rocks, B, Jesus himself, or C, the palm branches? A, B, or C, pick one. If you picked A, the rocks, you are correct. All right, guys, I'm sure you guys did a great job on that trivia okay. question, but just in case, Miss Haley's got the story for us. Guys, we talk about Palm Sunday every single year in JW Kids. And this year we have a special guest that I cannot wait to share with you. But we have a little situation about social distancing. So sadly, we cannot have our special guest here on the stage. But we are live streaming him and we cannot wait to share with you all about Palm Sunday. He's out back behind the church because, you know, safe distance. All right, let's see if he's here. Clyde, are you here? <laughs> hang on, I can hear you, hang but I can't on, see you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I can only go Why? so fast. Why? Woo. Here I am. Uh, uh, with all this social distancing, I've been eating a lot. I think I, think oh. I gained my quarantine 15. Oh, I mean, you look pretty good to me, Clyde. I mean, the last time I saw you was at our live nativity here at Jacob's Well, and you told me this amazing story that I cannot wait for you to tell them all about Palm Sunday. Oh, yeah. I, I know I was such a popular attraction at the nativity that I knew you would want me to tell you about Palm Sunday. You know, donkeys have excellent memories, and this story has been passed down in my family for generations. I heard it from my daddy. This story is about my great, 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 great grandpappy Abner, class removed, who was the very donkey that carried Jesus. No way. Your great, 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 great grandpappy Abner was there with Jesus, like actually, he he was riding your great... Okay, tell us more, we wanna know what else happened. Well, it was told to me like this. Oh. I don't know what that means, Clyde. But I'll use actual words for you. Thank you. You see, all Jerusalem was having a celebration called Passover, That's which right. is a Jewish celebration, a Jewish. really important Jewish important. celebration. They still celebrate it even today. You remember, it was when the angel of death passed over. That's right. Get it? Passed over? Yes, get Clyde. it? I get it. All yeah. the homes of the Jewish people and saved their firstborn son. Well, that is a lot to celebrate. It is. That's why right. Jewish people still celebrate it today. Anywho, Jesus and his disciples were coming in Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. That's right. Now, in the Bible, it says that the Passover celebration is a pretty big deal. Big deal? Yes, big, big, deal. big deal. Jerusalem was packed. Okay, 
Yeah, there was like packed. a couple million people there. Well, yeah, that's according to my dad, Rudy, who heard it from his great-granddaddy, Willard, who heard it from his aunt, Ethel. She's a little nutty. Who heard it from her uncle, Sid, eight times removed, and so on. Who heard it right from my great, 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 oh, Clyde. great, grandpappy Abner's mouth. Wow. Okay, thank you for finally getting to the point. Now, what we really want to know is how did Jesus find your great-grandpappy Abner? Ooh, that's the best part. So before Jesus and his disciples went into Jerusalem, he told two of them to go on up to the village ahead and grab the donkey that was tied up there. And guess who it was? It was my dear old great, 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 grandpappy Abner. Thank you. However many greats there are. And Jesus told the disciples to bring grandpappy to Jesus so he could ride him into Jerusalem. Whoa. All right, so... Because Jesus asked your grandpappy to ride on him through Jerusalem, I felt he felt very proud. Well, actually, I think it made him really nervous. Jesus was the king, and kings would always pick one of my darn horse cousins to ride. And if you ask me, they're a bit overrated. But not this time. My great, great, great grandpappy Abner was picked instead. And I can see why. I'm sure he was pretty good looking like me. Uh... But that's not the only reason he was picked. My grandpappy hadn't even been ridden by a two-legged before. And kings would never ride animals that had already been ridden by someone else. What? I had no idea the kings would not ride an animal that has already been ridden on. That's pretty crazy. Now, you did say that you're good looking. I mean, all donkeys are good looking. But there has to be another reason why Jesus would pick a donkey. Now, do you know why that would be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, unlike my horse cousins, who were a symbol of war when rode by a king, we donkey folk are a symbol of peace. Peace. Jesus knew that, and that's why he picked my grandpappy Abner. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the two leggings would have known he was coming to bring peace. That's right, peace. A donkey means peace. Now, I have another question for you. Do you think the two leggeds knew that Jesus was king when he rode into All I know is that Abner remembered how the two leggeds were talking all about the teaching that Jesus was doing and all the miracles he was performing. And they wanted to see him. And when Jesus got to Jerusalem, they sure treated him like a king. When they saw Jesus coming, they started waving palm leaves in front of Grandpappy's face and throwing them on the ground in front of him. It's what the two leggeds would do to welcome heroes and kings. Well, I know if it was me. I just would have thought it was a good lunch after all that walking. Uh, I mean, this might look like a good snack for you donkeys, but I don't think that would be a very good snack for us. No, not at all. But you're right, palm leaves. They use palm leaves to lay on the ground. Now, what else did they use to lay on the ground? Oh, yeah. They also threw their fur on the ground. I think you call it like cloaks. Oh, yeah. Clothes. As a way of honoring Jesus and calling him king. That's exactly right. They used palm leaves and their coats to lay on the ground as a way to worship Jesus. Now, it was like a giant red carpet, if you can imagine. Okay, now, did your grandpappy ever tell you what the people were shouting as Jesus came into town? Oh, yeah. The people started shouting, Hosanna! 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 In the highest! Yes, Clyde, thank you. We could hear you very clearly. That's right. They were shouting Hosanna. Now, do you know what Hosanna means? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I sure do. Hosanna means save us now. That's exactly right. Save us now. Now, the people, they thought that Jesus was their long-awaited king, their Messiah, who had finally come to save them. Now, what else do you know? My great, 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 and so on, grandpappy said that not everyone welcomed him like a king. That's so true. Now, what did your grandpappy have to say about that? Well, he did tell me that there were some two-leggeds who had a beef with Jesus. I believe he called them Pharisees. Anyway, he said these Pharisees didn't like everyone praising Jesus. They were holding their ears, telling Jesus to make the people stop. But they didn't stop. No, No, sirree. I mean, in fact, Jesus said that if the people stopped praising him, the very rocks would cry out. That's true. Like this. Uh... Well, something like that. Yeah, I mean, Jesus did say that the very rocks would cry out because we were all created. Like, when I say all, I mean everybody. Everybody was created to worship Jesus, as well as the donkeys, just like you, Clyde. Now, thinking about this story, I think that this may have been one of the best things that ever happened to your great-grandpappy Abner. Well, almost. There was one part of the story that my grandpappy did not like at all. Really? What was that? Oh, sweet glory, his feet. 
Don't get me started about those feet. He told me that his feet smelled worse than... Well, smell worse than me. Yeah, and oh man, it. no one needs to smell that. No I don't know. I, I know I don't got feet and all. Got but breath. even I know. Wash them feet. Yes, well, you, it's Clyde. about time for me to head back to the pasture. I'll see you later. All right. Thank you very much, Clyde. Now, Clyde. Oh, thank you for telling us all about Palm Sunday. Now, I'm sure you guys were listening very closely. But just in case, we have a recap from Miss Erica. Here is the quick version of what you learned today. Here we go. Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover together. Jesus rode on a donkey because donkeys were symbols of peace. The people spread their coats and palm branches on the road. It's like they were rolling out a giant red carpet for Jesus when he came. The people were also praising Jesus with palm branches and shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, because Hosanna means save us. But some people some people didn't recognize Jesus as king. In fact, some people hated Jesus. What did Jesus do? Well, that brings us to our weekly challenge. Guys, we are so excited for you to learn what the rest of the story is all about. So we have a really cool way for you to do that this week. We have a scavenger hunt. So here's what you gotta do. Kids, you gotta grab a grown-up and go to the JW Kids webpage and you gotta pull up this donkey right here. So in this picture, there's all kinds of hidden objects and your challenge is to pull up the scavenger hunt, read through the clues and the scripture verses that are on there and then match each clue and verse with an object that's hidden in this picture. And what is so cool about this, guys, is that you're go as you're going through the scavenger hunt, as you're reading those clues together, you are gonna really see how Jesus lived out that inside, outside, upside down kind of love. We can't wait for you to do that this week. And don't forget, when you're on the webpage, make sure you check out all the other great activities that we've got for your family this week. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna.